Hello, welcome to Business Spotlight. I am Tony Tona with Action Coach Tampa Bay. I'm excited to have Veshna V. Moore here with us. Uh, Veshna V, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much, Tony. Thank you so much for doing this Spotlight interview series with me. Absolutely. I'm really excited to hear about your business. So what do you do and how long have you been doing it? Yeah, so we, my startup is called Artslate. We were incubated at the Harvard Innovation Labs, I think in 2020. It was just an idea that started off with, you know, the AC industry, which is the architecture, engineering, construction industry. I'm an architect myself. So, um, you know, when I graduated from Harvard Graduate School of Design with uh, double masters, so I have one from University of Michigan where I did masters in architecture, and then I went for advanced masters, um, uh, design studies and technology concentration from Harvard. And then when I stepped out in the real world, I saw how difficult it was even for a Harvard graduate to get a job in the AEC mm -hmm. industry quickly. So it mm -hmm. almost took me like six months and 200 job applications to get wow. that one job that I want. And then at that point, I was like, there's a massive disconnect between, you know, the employers, the talent side, there is no infrastructure that's been built out for this industry, unlike the tech industry. Mm -hmm. And so that's when I, you know, I pitched this idea where today at Arxlade, our aim is to connect the 40 million people in the AC wow. industry to get hired within a click. So that's what we are like on average, it takes three months for people to hire from, um, you know, within the AC industry, we get it done in three days from a platform. Holy so the, uh, yes. So we use AI. We are an AI powered talent platform. We have about 20,000 people that are currently using um, our platform and getting hired for these jobs. And, you know, um, fortunately, we have been funded by, you know, uh, Tampa Bay Ventures, Seed Funders and New York Angels who have been, you know, our supporters since day one. And, you know, thanks to them and all our hard efforts and hard work that we've come so far. Oh, I love that. That is a great story. So the folks that are out there listening, um, they're asking a question, you know, who's who's really the best uh, customer for you? I know it can be pretty broad, but is there a best customer for you or a client? Yeah, for us, we are a talent marketplace. So our goal is to benefit both sides of the market equally. So we want to benefit the employers, but we don't want to forget the talent side. So we want to benefit the talent side as well. And really speaking, the ideal customers can be anybody who is a part of the building industry, be it architecture, civil engineering, sustainability, interior design, landscape design, anybody who falls under this category is our customer. Okay. Uh, Having said that, you know, even with the talent, we um, are not only focusing like the other platforms and hire the best talent or top talent, because we understand the importance of having a diverse skilled workforce. So we mm -hmm. also, I would consider our ideal customers to be people from, you know, community colleges or underrepresented groups or, you know, things of that sort to be our customers as well. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a broad range. But being a talent place, I think our main focus is to benefit both sides. And I would say like the employers as well as the talent is, you know, our customer segment. I love that. Uh, you know, when I wasn't thinking about the employer side, so I'm glad you mentioned that. Mm -hmm. So what, um, just the last uh, several years, have you seen some changes in your business um, that you've had to do? Yes, I think with, especially after post pandemic, right? Mm -hmm. The hiring industry has been booming. It has been crazy. It has been, you know, people want to do quick hiring. People want the right kind of talent for the firm. So we also started two other sections on our platform, which is e-learning and freelance gigs, um, you know, the gigs economy. So, um, you know, with e-learning, we just closed a few partnerships uh, last week with, you know, um, Red Vectors potentially, and then with CAD Learning, where what our aim is, uh, to provide the talent with upskilling. So, you know, mm. leading at the end, everything leads back to, you know, again, having a diversified uh, and a skilled workforce for this industry. And the right. second thing I think, like I mentioned, you know, after post pandemic is the freelance slash the gigs economy, wherein people can grab opportunities right from the comfort of their home, right? Because mm. we are in an industry like, you know, say interior design or work in someone's landscape backyard project, 
um, people can be doing that along with their full-time jobs and turn their skills into extra cash. So, you know, that's something that we've been doing on the platform, which we didn't do prior to COVID. So, you know, it's been, it's been a lot that's going on and, you know, people seem to be liking it. That's great. I like that something good came out of it anyway, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so um, <clears throat> do you have any upcoming events or any kind of um, type of speaking things or something in the community you want to share with folks? Yeah, I think for us, um, like I mentioned, you know, the upskilling factor for the talent side has been really important. And uh, we are setting out for university partnerships now. We want to help the young talent that's out there to, you know, boost their career and get hired at top companies. So some of the things that we've started doing is, you know, partnering with universities and going and speaking to their mm -hmm. talent about what their bright future could look like. So we recently uh -huh. closed a partnership with the University of Florida as I'm based nice. in Tampa. And um, last week I attended this event uh, in Miami, which was called Emerge America, which was a yeah. huge event. Um, and so, you know, people over there, the universities that were there, uh, Florida International University, University of Miami, things of, you know, those kind of universities, they were really excited with what we've been building and how um, our platform can benefit their students. So I'm looking forward to like, you know, going to these universities and speaking at some of these sessions where I can help the student understand what their bright futures could look like. That's a huge gap that you're filling. I know when I was in college, you know, I put myself through college and then I was, you know, six months trying to find a job. Yes. So I'm, I'm loving that you're part of those uh, colleges so that these guys and girls can really get a good step forward. I think that's awesome. Um, I got to ask you, so what inspires you and keeps you motivated? I think the, like, you know, the fact that I've experienced this myself mm. has been the biggest pain point in my life where, you know, I dreamt that, okay, I went to Harvard and then now within a minute, I'm going to get, you know, the next opportunity, which wasn't true. Mm. And so my inspiration and motivation has always been that what I dreamt of I, and people like other people also dream of the same. I want to turn their dream into a reality mm. and you know impact their lives quickly, not having to struggle or you know suffer because of the disconnect that exists. So I'm always for you know creating that social impact through my platform where um, you know like millions of people should get opportunities quickly right from the comfort of their home. So that's been like always like my motivation or something that keeps me up at night. I love that. Dream to reality is what you said. And yes. uh, what a great tagline. Is there an internet site that, that folks can get to that you can share with us? Listeners? Definitely. So you can log on to www.arcslate.com. That's A-R-C-H-S-L-A-T-E, Arcslate. And, you know, you can explore the endless opportunities that we have for you there. Even if you aren't from this industry, you know, even if you're from other field, but you're interested in like, you know, something creative like landscaping or interiors, you can always make the switch. You don't have to be stuck in that same career and things of that sort. So even if people you are not from these industries, you can still take a look and explore the opportunities that are there for you. Great. Uh, Vishnavi, thank you so much for interviewing with us today. I want to thank everyone for listening. This is another episode of Spotlight, Business Spotlight. Again, I'm Tony Tone with Action Coach Tampa Bay, and we will see you next time. Have a super day. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye.